Hello, my name is Paul Daggett with Remax Realty Professionals. I'd like to welcome you to another event with Jeff Palmer with Aspect Dimensions. Now, it's very important for homeowners to get the best depiction of their particular property once it's been posted to the MLS. So Jeff, give us a little bit of detail about the secrets behind the camera. What is it that makes your photography outstanding? I can't tell you all the secrets. <laughs> Come on! If I did, then we'd be out of business. <laughs> uh, see, uh, what, what we try to do is represent the home as accurately as possible and as beautifully as possible, bring out the real key features of uh, what sells that home. And so in doing that, we use a photography technique called HDR or high dynamic range. And in the simplest terms, it tries to mimic what our eyes see. Our eyes can see a wide range of light and dark and when you're in a home there's a lot of light coming through the windows and sometimes the interiors can be quite dark uh, so it takes multiple different exposures and uh, techniques within Photoshop and Lightroom to really bring out the beauty of that room and show it in its best possible way. And uh, for, for the lens that you use, uh, like some people uh, see like wide angle lenses and then it creates curvatures sure. and pictures and whatnot. Uh, how do you eliminate that type of uh, photography in your standard? Absolutely. So uh, we try to use uh, quite a wide lens to really get uh, the full story of what a room is. Uh, but at the same time, that lens can create uh, bad distortions, which uh, really ruin the image. One of the most uh, particular ones that stand out would be that fish eye effect. And through the power of these amazing programs like Photoshop and Lightroom, we can eliminate that and also bring it back to a truer uh, representation again of what our eyes see and allow the person looking at those images online to really understand what that room has to offer. Oh, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. So um, lighting is a big factor, right, in, in uh, photography. So yes. when you go to a home, is it important that uh, it be a cloudy day, a sunny day? What's, what's the best for you? Uh, the best would be if it was a cloudy day and a sunny day at the same time. <laughs> Good luck uh, with that. Yes, <laughs> can't, can't get everything we want. Uh, it's, it's helpful to have a cloudy day, say, inside to eliminate really, really bright windows. Uh, and on the outside to have a beautiful sunny day so uh, you can see the outside illuminated in the best possible way. Uh, but the beauty of the technology we use allows us to take advantage of essentially any day. So we can come out on a cloudy day and uh, modify things to make it look beautiful and sunny outside and an excellent exposure on the inside. So we can make it, we can make it work. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, now with the MLS system, uh, I'm allowed to actually broker load up to 50 photos. So how many pictures would you be taking of a home to assist realtors in getting the best shots possible for a home? So our aim is to try to do 50 photographs no matter what. So if we're in a small condominium, that means that we're gonna take accent photographs of say the, now the faucet, the appliances, things like that to really try to capture that um, limitation that that's set up with the 50 photos. And on the flip side, if you were to go to a home that's quite large, uh, we're taking enough photos to cover the entire home, uh, which often is in excess of 50 photos, which allows the realtor to select the ones they want and create the story that they think is best. Important. What about uh, staging of the home uh, prior to taking those photos? Do you, do you expect the seller to be doing that? Do you move things around? How do you go about doing that? We go in and, and, and hope that the home is, is <laughs> ready to go and, and that's usually sometimes not the case. Uh, but it is very important to have the home staged and set up as best as possible. And in, often that, uh, that really means uh, something in the simplest of terms, moving a pillow and, and just a particular spot, putting things away, cleaning things up, and turning the lights on, opening the blinds, it's as easy as that. Now, um, apart from the HDR photography that you do, uh, uh, drone photography is becoming very, very uh, um, influential in today's market. Now, uh, do you do that as well? Absolutely, yeah. That's uh, one of the things that helps us stand out in the crowd is we offer drone photography, drone video as well. And there can be certain properties, uh, like the one I shot yesterday, a very large acreage, which can't be represented off the ground. It's not possible. No, and so right. when we go out to locations like that, in those specific situations, drone photography is essential. 
So what you're saying is you, you provide drone photography and videography, so you can do videography in the home as well? You bet, yeah. Oh, wonderful. So we can really showcase the homes that need that. So if you have a listing that's uh, exceptional and also probably quite large where it makes it difficult to tell the full story through photographs, uh, we offer high definition, high, highly produced and professional quality video, both inside and out. Uh, so the, the drone can really bring that out. And so uh, I really appreciate everything that you've done and uh, the quality work that you provide is outstanding. I'm so glad, glad to hear it. I, I strongly recommend Aspect Dimensions for both uh, dimension work as well as HDR uh, photography and uh, possibly I look forward to you doing some videography for me as well in the I, future. I hope so. Thanks, Thanks Jeff for coming in. Thanks for having me. All the best. Have a great day.